Assalamualaikum and good day to all. I am Muhammad Harizan bin Zul from UMP. We present my research paper titled Laser Surface Polishing of Titanium Alloy Using Nanosecond Fiber Laser. The following is the content of my presentation. Assuming this is a material surface profile, when this, is, this surface is polished with process A, for example sanding, the profile of this surface will change. Then is followed by the, surface, the process of B, for example grinding. Then process C, which is polished with lapping cloth, with 3 micron diamond suspension, and finish with the process of D, which is a 1 micron colloidal silica suspension. We can get a mirror like surface. Polishing is used to improve the roughness of the parts as well as the friction coefficient and most importantly change the final dimensional accuracy in the microns and submicron scale. This is achieved by enhancing the roughness of the parts which in turn increases the friction coefficient. Polishing is a common processing technique used in the final manufacturing stage in many white industrial as shown in slide. The response such as friction and falling are reduced when surfaces are smooth and will free from the defects. In general, the laser surface polishing gives a reduction in surface roughness by decreasing the value of all peaks and valleys. A number of process steps are executed from macro polishing to increasing polish quality to smoothing out milling groove. It is feasible to smooth out macro structures by utilizing laser light that emits a continuous wave. A melt pool is formed by the absorbed laser beam as it moves across the surface at a specified scanning velocity, melting new material on one side and solidifying it on the other side. The surface roughness of the molten material is smoothed out during the process of remelting as a result of the surface tension of the material. In previous study from Tembler, a laser was used to polish tool steel. The initial surface roughness RA is 1, sorry, 0 0.33 micrometer and has SA from 32 nanometer to 3 nanometer after polishing. This sums up that laser micropolishing helps decrease the surface roughness of material and gives a better surface finish. Experiment result from Marimutu also showed a reduction of surface roughness from 10.2 micrometer to 2.4 micrometer after laser polishing. In other studies, the researcher used a solid state DX laser to laser hot work steel. The initial surface roughness, RA, is between 1.25 to 2.5 micrometer and have a reduction of RA up to 70 to 90 percent. The study from Perry used MD Yak laser to polish titanium alloy and has been shown to reduce the average surface roughness, RA, from 0.206 millimeter to 0.07 millimeter. There are several previous studies on the effect of skewness on certain application. Chang and Zheng demonstrated negative skewness can enhance lubrication and contact under high friction and heavy loading. Similar results were achieved in a study conducted by Talibuya where the courtesy parameter also affect the tribology of the surface. Hansen and Hansen used the skewness parameter to obtain the surface roughness for dental implants. Similarly, the surface profile of skewness will also ideally be able to flatten the surface by lower the value of skewness. In the case of laser polishing, all peaks and valleys are flattened by the laser. This paper aims to examine one of the most significant surface profile, which is skewness, to characterize the polishing surface. The effect of laser parameters involved in surface polishing has also been discussed. Titanium alloy used in this study has been widely applied in many areas, including aeronautics, automotive, 
Marine and Shipyard Construction and Petroleum Refinery. In this work, silicon carbide papers were used for the grinding in the wetting condition. The result of skewness profile is shown in table 3 and will compare with the result of the experiments. The lower skewness is the most perfect surface. The nanosecond laser system from ITG Photonics Corporation was used in the study with the parameter in table 2. The surface topography of the S receive, mirror light surface and laser polish surface were observed using Lex Olympus OLS 5000 3D laser scanning confocal. The skewness surface profile in the aerial distribution profile was taken on average from three different areas on the sample with lens zoom values up to 20x. The values of skewness describe the degree of which the roughness form is biased. Skewness is a useful tool that can be utilized to efficiently characterize the contour of the surface texture height distribution. If a surface height distribution has a symmetrical form, then the surface skewness value will be equal to zero. As illustrated in figure above, a negative value of skewness implies that the ground surface features a little prevalence of round peaks and sharp valleys. When it comes to the turn surface, a positive value of skewness indicates that there are rel relatively more pointed peaks and round valleys. The goal is to achieve mirror-like surface properties as discussed in the literature. Figure 1 shows that the laser power of 12 watt will generate a skewness that is consistent and getting closer to zero. There is a 60% increase of skewness with the laser power of 12 watt and laser frequency of 150 kHz. While figure 2 shows that improvement of up to 71% of skewness for the laser speed from 50 to 150 mm per second. Figure above demonstrates that an improvement in both the quality and smoothness of the surface profile. In general, the two key process variables for laser polishing that have a major impact on the final surface profile are scanning velocity and average laser power. The effect of laser polishing is minimal for low laser power and only slightly reduce roughness. Roughness is significantly reduced with increased laser power. While the scanning speed is low, the roughness value can be reduced. From various di previous discussion, it can be concluded that laser power is the most significant to reduce surface roughness. The laser power also can be addressed by energy density. E as, as presented in equation, equation 1. The energy density that affect the surface is shown in table 4. All data demonstrate skin range. The surface can be polished to a higher degree with the maximum energy density with the minimum laser power. The impact of laser energy density on titanium that relates to internal porosity was researched by Mir Juska, which discovered that the energy density of 33 to 71 will, co will cause change in porosity. Based on figure 3 above, the laser frequency at 150 kHz gives a consistent value even the laser speed is in increased at constant laser power of 12 watt. The study from G also found the same result that the higher laser frequency will decrease the effect of heat zone and better processing effect can be obtained such as microstructure and surface roughness profile. Figure above depicts that the laser frequency increase with both laser speed and laser power keep constant with surface profile is better and smoother. At laser frequency of 50 kHz, the skewness value is negative 0.55. Meanwhile, the skewness for laser frequency at 100 and 150 kilohertz has smaller skewness. The surface profile is smoother at laser speed at 100 mm per second, but gets a little worse at laser speed at 150 mm per second. As we know, higher laser power result in a decrease in roughness. However, decarburization of the remelted surface layer occurs concurrently with visible material vaporization caused by greater laser power. 
and slower laser speed and sometimes it will not significantly affect the surface while at high laser power will result in single constant pulse energy which also lead to a reduction in the removal of the material surface. The evaluation of laser poly surface made from the surface produced at the laser power of 12 watt with varying laser, laser speed and laser frequency. Figure B shows the surface polishing with laser power of 12 watt, laser frequency 150, 125 kHz and laser speed 125 mm per second give the lower skewness which are negative 0.02. As the laser frequency increase with both laser speed and laser power keep constant, the surface profile is better and smoother. The conclusion can be made as follow. Number one, the surface profile of skewness can be considered as the good characterization profile to produce laser polish surface with an improvement up to 97% compared to as received surface. Conclusion 2, the laser power of 12 watt is enough to change the surface for better skewness with the laser frequency of 125 kHz and laser speed 125 mm per second. Lastly, for future works, the laser polish surface parameter can be optimized and investigate in depth from the effect of laser pulse overlap for better result. Thank you for joining my presentation. Hopefully, it will benefit research input or sharing findings for you. Thanks.